flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and you guys have been watching the progress of my Lysianthus seedlings since I started them way back on January 3rd. They are now 12 weeks old and I wanted to bring you guys an update on how they're doing so far. So here are the ones that I potted up way back about a month ago. <laughs> I can't even stand it. I had to find the brightest spot in here and it's this. This is 12 week old Lysianthus. It's the biggest I have ever grown from seed and I think it's because I potted it up and I had never potted it up in the past. I didn't think it was necessary, but now that I've done it and I've seen the difference, I might have to do it from now on. It just keeps fogging up. Sorry. <laughs> I've literally never seen something look this good. Um, Yes, I'm bragging. <laughs> anyway, they are amazing and uh, healthy and beautiful. I've been fertilizing them once a week using Neptune's fertilizer. It's a two, three, one fish emulsion and seaweed organic fertilizer. And I just use a little bit in a gallon of water and that is how I've been watering these. It's just gonna fog up down here. <laughs> After seeing how well these ones were doing, I decided to pop the rest of them up, all of them. All of my Lysianthus are now in 38 trays. They were basically the same size when I potted them up. Wait until you see the difference. This is dangerous. Okay, I've got it. I'm afraid I'm gonna fall or drop it. Okay, so these are the ones right here that I potted up um, about three weeks ago. These are the ones right here that I didn't, and I just did it the other day. Look at the size difference between the two. Um, and the only difference is I potted the ones up earlier. I think these are gonna catch up. They've already doubled in size since putting them in here, so. Yay! These are both 12 week old Lysianthus. I mean, that's crazy to me that these are both the same age, and simply by potting them up, made a huge improvement. So right here is where all of my Lysianthus are. I have eight trays of 38 plug trays. That's what I bumped them up to. So I, I think I have between 320 and 350 total Lysianthus uh, somewhere around down here. Keeping the light on me. So I have the two trays that I potted up are right here. So the Lysianthus are actually starting to grow up as well as out. They have little baby stems and I love them so much. Well, I'd love to sit here and tell you guys that, woo, my Lysianthus dreams are coming true. I will say, however, if the camera will focus here once again, that I do have an issue with my Lysianthus. And fortunately, it's a secluded issue, but it's a pretty serious one. Unfortunately, I'm seeing this on a couple of the plants and I suspect that this is something called Fusarium wilt. It's common on a lot of crops, flowers and vegetables included. And unfortunately, once a plant gets this, you should toss it out. You can prevent this from spreading by using a product called Root Shield. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Root Shield today to water my seedlings. I have found this on about five of the seedlings so far. Uh, it's soil born. It actually can come on seeds too. So I don't know where this came from and I, I honestly, I can't be 100% sure without sending it into a lab. But I looked at the Cicada culture sheet for Lysianthus and it looks exactly like what they show to be Fusarium wilt. So I'm gonna use Root Shield. Fortunately, I already have Root Shield and I just hadn't used it yet. Maybe it's something that you can do before you plant just to make sure. I was planning on watering them in the Root Shield right before I put them outside. I know a lot of people do that. So what I'm gonna be doing is mixing this in with water and then watering all of my Lysianthus trays with the water that has the root shield in it. And this basically, it protects your plants from any fungal diseases. So Root Shield Plus is very expensive. I've seen this bag, which is a one pound bag, like uh, more than $100, like $180. I was able to find it from a company that sells it. I think I paid maybe $45 for this to be shipped to me. And this is gonna last a long, long time. Also, you should store it in the refrigerator if you're not using it. So if you guys can see this, this is the company where I bought it. This is not sponsored. They have no idea I'm giving them a shout out on this video. So 
uh, the not so good news is I went to link this product in the description of this video and I found that they no longer sold the one pound packages. They do have the larger packages, so if you know, if you have a garden group and you guys wanna go in and buy it together, they do have the larger packages, but apparently they're no longer selling in the one pound packages. But I did speak to Ron, the owner of the company, and Ron also recommended another product called Companion Max, and that's another type of liquid. It's a liquid fungicide, and he said a lot of his farmer customers will use this to control a lot of diseases diseases. So I will put that in the description below and I'll also put a link to this Root Shield product, but it will be the larger package. You can find smaller packages on other websites, but it, like I said, they're very expensive. And if you go there, tell them Flower Hill Farm sent you. Fortunately, I don't see any issues on my bigger plants. I had a couple in the smaller trays uh, that were presenting with that discoloration on the petals. I've tossed them all. That one I just showed you guys was the one that I was the last to throw out. Uh, I just, I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. So they're right in the garbage. So while I'm super happy with the growth of these Lysianthus, you really shouldn't let them get too large because then they won't transplant well. According to the Cicada culture sheet, Lysianthus do the best when they're transplanted with their fourth true set of leaves. And I'm approaching the fourth true set, so I think it's gonna be perfect timing for two weeks from now when I get these in the ground. Hopefully this root shield will kind of prevent this problem from spreading and all of my hard work is, is not gonna be tossed down into the garbage bin with the fusarium wilt. And I know some people are gonna ask me, uh, the temperature down here is around 68 degrees and I also have about 68 to 70% humidity. So although times in the past I said I don't bump up my Lysianthus seedlings, I am now seeing that there is a benefit to bumping them up. I am actually really shocked at how big they are getting and how much they are growing and I'm so excited to see how soon I can get them to actually bloom. Because I only have roughly 350 of them, I was able to bump them up. If I was growing thousands of them this way, I don't think I would have the space to bump them all up to these 38 trays. So, you know, as long as I maintain just growing a few hundred of them from seed and then buying in other plugs, and I think doing it this way in the future is going to allow me to succession plant them in the way that mine are just gonna be bigger when I put them in the ground and the plugs are gonna be a little bit smaller. So the first flush should come from my seedlings that are quite large right now. I'm going to be planting them out in about, I'd really like to get them in the ground in about two to three weeks. We have to wait until our ground is workable. So it's slightly frozen right now because of our frigid nights that we were having this week, but also, it's too wet and I want to have that dry out so I can pull the bed maker out and go ahead and make the beds that I'm gonna be using for the Lysianthus. So a couple weeks and we'll get these babies in the ground and I can't wait to see what they do this year. Anyway, thanks so much for sticking around guys. We'll see you soon. Uh, my camera's fogging up. It's a little humid down here. We might have to go upstairs for this. Everybody needs somebody, somebody like you. Washing the windows. Da, 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 da. Let's talk Lizzie Anthes.